Good morning. So I want to make a quick video. I had an oil pump failure on my Turbo LS C10. And a little backstory on this. I broke a piston on that truck, pulled the motor, new gaskets, bearings, cam bearings, crank, all that. And went back with the old oil pump, which I should have known better. Drove it about two miles and ended up with no oil pressure. Pulled it over, stopped, got it home, pulled the oil pump and figured out what was going on. And I wanted to do this just to show somebody else in case they had the same thing, what happened to me and my best guess of what caused this. So as you can see, this is the old oil pump. Uh, got the cover off of it right now. And the way this works, front of your crank, it pulls from here, builds oil pressure. There's tons of videos on how oil pumps work. But what I think happened with mine, because I had put new bearings in it, my oil pressure went up probably went up higher than it had been in hundreds of thousands of miles. And I think when I built some RPM, this relief opened. And what it does is it opens up to relieve oil back to the pan so that you don't build too much oil pressure. But what I think happened with mine, and I'll pull this off and you can see, there's a spring in here. And when you buy a new oil pump, or at least the one I bought, it comes with uh, different types of springs depending on what pressure you may want to run. But there's a plunger in here that opens up if the pressure gets too high and then closes when the pressure lowers. And I think with this one, because it's set closed so long that once it did open, and I probably can't get it to do it now, but when I first took it off, you can see how it's open now. When I first took it off, that's the position it was in. When I took all this apart, I could take my screwdriver and just push it back in, but you could feel almost like there was a burr in there. So like I said, I don't think the pump itself actually failed. I think that failed. But by the time I got down this far, I wasn't going to try to clean this up and reuse it. A new oil pump was around $200. In fact, there it is now. I'm having to push kind of hard to get it to close. But I think that's what happened with mine, caused my oil pressure failure. And I know I'm not the first and the only one to have this happen but I hadn't seen a lot explaining what's going on. And I know I hadn't made a video in a while, I've been busy, but a lot of the stuff I'm doing is stuff that lots of other YouTubers have done and explained better than I have. So I just wanted to do a quick one for you guys in case anybody else runs into the same thing. When I found out I had no oil pressure, of course I shut it down, towed the truck home, and started with all the simpler things. Um, the cam plate, just different things made sure I actually had oil in it. You know, you get excited when you're ready to fire something up, those kind of things. But this was the last thing I got to because this was the hardest one to get to. Uh, I had to jack the motor up in the truck, pull the oil pan because it wouldn't get past the member. It just, tons of work. This was the last thing I went to, but this was definitely it. Put a new oil pump on, drove the truck, probably got, I don't know, 30 or 40 miles on it by now with that motor in it. It's still holding really good oil pressure, better than it ever had before when I had it. Well, that's the short of it. I want to make a video. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be good.